y'all, I am home. Fresh silk press here. What's up, y'all? So, as you can tell in the title, we're going to do and come to my appointments with me type of vlog this week. Um, so, right now it is. 4.30, well, 4.30-ish, and I am going to go get my lashes done today. My appointment is at 5. So, yeah. Now, I'm going to a new girl because the, um, the person that I usually go to, like, their book, I guess because it's the holiday or whatever, because Thanksgiving is next week. So, I guess because it's like the holiday week everybody getting their lashes done or whatever but like she was booked up so i was trying to find somebody else who has an opening because i'm going out of town and you know i want to look cute when i go out of town so um we're going to try this girl i actually know her um we went to school together well we never went to school together but we rode, we rode the school bus together so i know the chick who i'm going to i just never got my lashes done by her so hopefully they come out cute because you know lash extensions I feel like they're hit or miss depending on who do them. I don't know. I don't know what I want. I just don't want the cat eye. I want like a short cat eye. That's what I'm going for. So, hopefully I don't look too crazy. But yeah, so that's what we are doing today. So I'm getting my lashes done today, which is, what's today? Wednesday. And then tomorrow I'm getting my, um, I'm getting oh tomorrow I'm getting my eyebrows waxed. Y'all my eyebrows look horrible. I don't know if you can see. Ugh, it ain't gonna show my unibrow growing in. Like it's rough. My eyebrows is rough. Real rough. Like I said my eyebrows is going in. My unibrow is growing in. Uh and it just looks bad. So I gotta get my eyebrows done tomorrow. I'm getting my hair done Friday. And then I'm getting my feet done. I'm getting feet and uh, um and wax saturday hopefully by saturday i'm gonna be a whole new woman i'm gonna look like a whole different woman up on this camera because right now i'm like a little busted a little tired so yeah that's the plan up y'all so it is the next day it's like 2 30 well 2 40 um actually i wasn't even supposed to get off until three o'clock but for some reason my internet like just stopped working like i don't know what happened like i was just sitting there at my desk working and then i heard a bang outside and then the internet disconnected and the clock like my stove doesn't work like all the buttons and the clock on the stove doesn't work but my electricity isn't out though because my microwave clock works and my clock in my bedroom works but it's just like it's just my oven and the internet like i don't know i don't know what that is but yeah so i had to tell my supervisor she was just like since you off tomorrow you can just go ahead and just take the leave so i got off 30 minutes early today because for some reason my internet and my stove just wanted to act up. I don't know what happened. But anyway, um, I know I didn't come back to you guys last night after um, after I got my lashes done. So, um, I don't know. Like for some reason, I never like my lashes whenever I first get them done because I always feel like it's too much. Like I think I'm just, you know, you get used to seeing yourself without lashes or whatever. And then when you finally get something, you're just like, this is a lot. So, Yesterday, like, I just felt like they were cute, but they just didn't look cute on me. Now I'm starting to get more comfortable with them. Like, I'm starting to like it more. And my boyfriend says he likes them. We kind of said the same thing I did yesterday. Like, yesterday he was like, mm, he wasn't really sure. But then today he was like, I like them. I was like, yeah, I like them too now. Like, it's just taking me a minute to get used to them. And then also because I'm not done up, like, the lashes are like pow, but then my eyebrows still rough and my hair still rough, so anyway about these lashes so y'all i don't know 
I think it was the glue she used. Like I said, because I went to a different route. So, um, when this girl was doing my lashes, it was like, you know, well, you know, like if you get your lashes done, you're supposed to, you know, keep your eyes closed because the fumes from the glue or whatever can like make your eyes water or whatever. So sometimes like a little bit, like my eyes would like, you know, would just open up a little bit. And so my eyes would start like started burning. But I know it's like, well, that's just from the glue or whatever. Cause that's happened to me before too. Like sometimes like or you pull your eyelid a little bit or whatever, the fumes get in or whatever. But anyway, y'all get what I'm saying. So that wasn't at the seals, but like it happened like three times. Like my eyes just started burning while she was doing my lashes. So then afterwards, when it was all done, like I felt fine. My eye was a little scratchy and it was a little red, but it wasn't nothing too crazy. But yeah, by the time I got home and was like ready to get into bed, like my eyes were so freaking scratchy. I took my contacts out. I was like, let me make sure I take my contacts out so my eyes can breathe because something is going on with my eyes. And so I took my contacts out last night and then, and then I woke up this morning and when I looked in the mirror, my eyes was bloodshot red, fire truck red. Like everywhere that was supposed to be white was red. I was like, yo. Like I would thought my eyes would have felt better overnight, but when I woke up this morning, my eyes were so freaking red. I could only think it has to be the glue she used because it had started burning while she was using it. Like while she was putting the lashes on. So I don't know, but the funny thing is, it was like once I put my, um contacts in like I guess because you know I added some more contact solution and put my contacts in it's like as soon as I put my contacts in the red in my eyes was going away like I felt like the contact solution was doing it like you know because contact solution it cleans the content lenses so I'm guessing it was like cleaning my eye I don't know it was like as soon as I put my contact in with the content with the contact solution my eyes started clearing up but even still now that my eyes are clear like clear like they're not red anymore it's like every couple of hours like my eyes will just start pouring like I'll just start tearing up and so like I thought I was doing good like my ear my ears my eyes hasn't teared up in like maybe like two three hours so I thought I was doing good but for some reason when I started talking to y'all about my eyes and when I brought it up now my eyes want to start watering again but this whole time I was just working by the tv wasn't doing nothing and now me talking about it, it makes it want to water up. I don't know. I'm just hoping like it's not an allergic reaction or anything. Like I'm not allergic to anything. This might be a new allergy format. I don't know. Like maybe the glue she used, it just doesn't work with me and my eyes. My eyes was red. I'm just sitting here doing like, I watch Housewives of Potomac. You know how when Candace get that little napkin, she, she folded up it. That's what I've been doing all day because the tears have just been flowing, honey. Like, ugh. I don't, I don't know what's going on. But anyway, so now I'm about to go get my lashes done. Not my lashes. I'm about to go get my eyebrows done. Uh, my appointment is at 3.30. It's 2.56. So I'm about to leave. Because yeah, the eyebrows. Y'all, can y'all see? I was trying to show y'all yesterday. You see my unibrow? Oh, y'all can see my, y'all can see the redness in my eye. Y'all see it. But when I tell you this morning, it was worse than this, y'all. It was worse. Like, my whole eye was red. Now it's just, like, the bottom. But anyway, yeah, these eyebrows need to get done. The unibrow is growing back with a vengeance. So, let's do that. Y'all see Storm over here sleep. Well, he pretending like he's sleep. Hey, Stormy. Stormy, look. You look a little fat right here in that angle, but that's all right. That's y'all right, Tudor. That's y'all right, Tudor. I know one thing. I hope this internet working by the time I get back home, because what am I going to watch on TV? Well, I guess I can read a book. I did buy some new books, I guess. But, Y'all. Y'all. My, oh my goodness. Okay. The electricity is out. I have a garage. How am I supposed to open it? I can't get out. I can't get out. Oh my goodness, I don't know. That's what I'm saying, okay? It's just like certain things isn't working because the electricity is working, like, but I can't, but the garage door won't open. How do I get out of here? <laughs> oh, is it like, am I supposed to pull this? 
Oh Lord, y'all. I'm gonna get out of here. I even, like I said, it's not, I don't know what it is because like I have electricity in some places, but some places I don't. Let me call my daddy. Uh -huh. yeah, uh, so how, how do I get out of here? Go out there. Oh. And, and better go up in the car. It's going to be a, a string with a red knob on it. Yeah, I see it. Um, with a white handle on it. Hang it down. Pull it? Yeah. I'm pulling it. Yeah. All right, now. Did it come down a little bit? Did it click a little bit? Yeah, it clicked. Okay, so I just stopped by the Lisa office and what had happened was like they're doing in the front of my apartment complex, they're building commercial buildings and so, so, so they're doing construction and one of the construction people, whatever, they hit something. They hit something in the whole apartment complex like that. Like it was another resident out there. He was saying just like some stuff you work and some stuff don't. I was like, yeah, he said his is the same way. So yeah, that's how I was like. I was like, my electricity is out, but it's not. Because I'm like, my internet is out and my stove is out. First of all, hold up. When did, the, when did they get Camaro? When did the police, when did the police get Camaros? They must got, that must be new. Like, they must got an increase in their budget or something. Because I ain't, that, that sheriff had a little nice little Camaro. But anyway, I got a Oh yeah, like some stuff is out and some stuff is not. But I said, I said my internet is out, my stove is out, and my garage door won't open. But the um, but the lights still work. My clock in my bedroom works. Like it's like certain stuff works and certain stuff doesn't. So hopefully they'll get that fixed. She was like, they gotta call the. She was like, they gotta call Georgia Power or whatever and have them come out. Good thing I'm off tomorrow. Like tomorrow's Friday. Good thing I'm off tomorrow. So yeah. Anyway, let's go ahead and get these eyebrows done. I'll holler at you. All right, y'all. So now I'm getting my eyebrows done. This is where I go. I go to Ashley Toray Brows, and she maps them. That's why you know they be looking better than what, what they was before. Cause she actually care about the shape. <laughs> few moments later eyebrows are looking nice um they look a little darker than normal but that's because she um she uh you know she be putting that color you know what people do to their eyebrows and i'll never do that so once i like wash the makeup off like the the eyebrow powder i don't know whatever she be never they be putting on your eyebrows like it'll look a little more natural but yeah with my eyebrows like i was saying the reason why i had to let my unibrow grow in is because we were trying to grow my eyebrows closer because where i was the place i was going to before they kept pushing my eyebrows back you know like you know they're supposed to start like you know like the bridge of your nose where they were supposed to line up but the place i was going but the place i was going they kept pushing my eyebrows for farther apart further apart so i had to let it grow back in so you know we're trying to get them back closer together and they they on their way they on their way but yeah so now let me go home and get me something to eat all right y'all so i'm back home eyebrows done lashes done now it's just you know getting my hair done tomorrow but yeah so i got an email from the apartment complex and they were saying that they talked to georgia power and 
it should be up by 5 30 i think that's what they said it's 4 57 now they said it should be back by 5 30. i think let me check yeah 5 30 but we'll see y'all know well, the people stay in georgia y'all know how georgia power is they say 5 30 but it's probably gonna be like seven so yeah i'm just about to I can't watch tv i'm about to read a book what's the book I'm, the book i'm reading right now is called seven days in june by tia williams uh i got it because tiktok recommended it i actually got two other books that i haven't read yet but i'm going to after i finish this one i got the november 9 tiktok recommendation too and then i got will smith's book so that's what i'll be doing i'll just be reading and then i'm gonna eat my sandwich that i got from McAllister's. so yeah that's it for today i'll see y'all tomorrow the next day okay y'all so now it is saturday um i got here real early my appointment isn't until 11 and it's 10 16 so i'm just scrolling through tiktok or whatever until it gets you know until it gets time for me to go in i'm ready to get my hair done because this bird nest this bird nest ain't ain't it oh let me tell you so the power did come back on at 5 30 like they said like it was like a, a little bit before 5 30. so the power did come back on but but my internet didn't so i had to call the internet people and they said they're going to send someone out tomorrow see i'm not going to have any internet until tomorrow between three and five that's when he said they coming between three and five so i just have to read some books which i mean ain't nothing wrong with that because i really don't be watching tv anyway really like throughout the week i just use mostly use it for background noise but yeah y'all anyway that's pretty much it um i'll go in and then i will holler at y'all when i get out. i'm not gonna record because i don't know i excuse me i just don't feel like bringing this camera in so i mean y'all know what somebody get their hair straight and look like so i'll see y'all when i'm done eventually all right y'all i am home fresh silk press here <laughs> this is what i'm looking like y'all i need my roots touched up bad but um i want to go lighter i'll probably go like in january like an actual blonde instead of like this <laughs> yellowy looking bleach color that every black person get because that's just the color that black because that's just the way black hair bleach you know but yeah. Anyway, I had stopped by Walmart because I needed a new powder brush. So I got that and I got I got some of these rollers because usually with whenever I get a silk press, I just usually wrap it. But I don't want to wrap it because I'm gonna lose like the curls and the body yadi yadi. So um I mean I know you can I know some people pin curl it, but I don't know, for some reason that feels like too much. <laughs> It didn't feel like too much to pin curl it because I'm just sitting thinking like the nights that I'm not gonna wanna, those nights that I'm not going to uh feel like putting my hair up, pin curl them, that's gonna be too much. And I saw a girl on Instagram, she just used like four rollers in her head and called it a day. And I'm like, yeah, I need something that's gonna work even when I don't feel like doing my hair. You get what I'm saying? Like you sleepy or you have a bit too much drink and you ain't really trying to do too much. You know what I'm saying? And then I got some banana clips. Y'all y'all know banana clips coming back? Banana clips are coming back. I remember my mom used to have a whole bag of these. She used to have the banana clips and she used to have like the little headband with the teeth in them that go all the way around. Like it was like a circle, the stretchy thing, you know what I'm talking about? But anyway, yeah. So banana clips are coming back. If you didn't know, I'm telling you here now, banana clips are on the comeback. So yeah, so I got me some banana clips and then Oh, I just got me some of these type of, some of these type of clips. Oh, this because my face in it. Focus on the clip, not on me. Yeah, so I got some of these clips, like this in the back, because I want to be able to, like, if I do a updo or whatever, you know, like, child how we used to do in middle school, everything come back. In middle school, you know, you used to do like a half up, half down or whatever, you would just like, Put the top of oh like the ponytail wouldn't be like in a real ponytail you would put it in like a claw clip or something so it'll be like sticking out the top of your head like that but i didn't want to use a claw clip so 
I got this. And then I got some more honey pots for the honey pot. <laughs> uh, they ain't got nothing. Oh, and I got, oh, Storm, I got you some. I got you some, um, some wet food. I ain't, you ain't had wet food in a minute. Oh, and I bought these, what you call these? Like the little section and clips. And I got these because these are self grip rollers. Like they have the comb in, like, you know, when you have straight hair. So it's supposed to grip. But just in case they don't, I bought these to, like, you know, clip on the rollers. So yeah, they see. They see. Storm, you want some of this? Are you even hungry? Oh, I forgot to show you the bag. Look at the bag. Look at the bag. Look at the bag. Look at the bag. <laughs> I ain't got no sense, y'all. If you want to know what Storm is about to eat. Why it just got dark all of a sudden? Storm is about to eat a swirl pate. Tuna and white fish recipe. Uh-uh, this is open. I can't give Storm that. Oh, no, I'm not giving Storm that. I wasted this thing with 98 cents. Okay, well, scratch that. Don't eat that, Storm. I got something else for you. Scratch that. Storm is about to eat a chicken and turkey recipe stuffed with real chicken. Ain't that, yeah, ain't that right, Storm? I even put it on a paper plate just for him. I am about to, ooh, you crooked. Oh, Lord. There you go. I am about to clean up a little bit because the internet person is coming tomorrow to fix my internet and they about to talk about me talk about my house nasty so i'm clean i'm clean the part they gonna see i'm just gonna clean the living room in the kitchen i'm gonna clean the part they gonna see i'll worry about the rest later and that's pretty much it for today i'm eating a cookout milkshake the next day okay y'all so how about it's saturday Remember I told y'all the internet people were supposed to come today between 3 and 5. You think they came? No, honey. Y'all, if y'all been watching my channel since like I moved into this apartment complex, y'all know all the issues I have with this apartment. Here's another issue. So, you know, with this apartment, the internet and cable is included. So it's included into the rent. It's in the, under the apartment's name, whatever. Like the apartment says it up. So when I moved in, like I, they don't give you an account number for the internet and blah, blah, blah. Cause it's all through the apartment. So because I'm having an issue with the internet, I call, I call the internet people to see what's going on, to see if they could fix it. And you know, that's when they told me that it's still the, the internet in my unit is still under old dude's name, the one I used to live here before me. But they still said that they'll send someone out to fix it. But since it's under his name still, it's like basically his account. So all of his information, his contact information, everything is under him. So today, I guess they sent out a text to confirm whether or not you still need the tech. And so they sent the text, but they sent it to his um, phone number and of course since he doesn't know what's going on he canceled it so <laughs> I still don't have any internet and then I was like okay so I called them again because I didn't know what's going on because I called them like they said they was going to be here between three and five and so I called them at like 5 30 and it was like oh we sent you a text and it was canceled I said you ain't send me no text honey so now they saying that they're gonna come Monday between three and five and I said, and but I said, okay, but if you send the same text message to the same number, he's just going to cancel it again. So what am I do? Like this is going to be a cycle because he's going to keep canceling it because his number is on an account. But they was just like, yeah, it's going to be a cycle. So make sure you go to your leasing office and you know have them switch things over. So that's what I'm gonna have to do Monday. I'm gonna have to go to the leasing office, have them switch the account to my name. And then hopefully we can get the internet working. I gotta feel. I already know the internet ain't gonna be working Monday. I already know because I already get, know this dude gonna cancel it. So I gotta do that Monday. Oh, and because y'all know, since the pandemic, I've been working from home. But since I don't have any internet, I texted my supervisor and I was like, you know, this might look issue. And she was like, either you could take a vacation day or you can come into the office. 
and I don't want to use my vacation day for some, for this. I want to use it for when I'm actually going to need it. So I was like, I'll come into the office. So now I got to come into the office Monday. I haven't been in that office in a year and 10 months. And that's so, I was just like, bro, I do not, I mean, I don't want to go into the office, but I ain't got no choice. I definitely want to use my vacation time. So now I got to go into the office Monday. Boy, I tell you. I didn't even record that much today because what I did, I went to go get my Brazilian wax. Um, and that was smooth, y'all. It was so much better this time. I guess it is true when they say you have to keep going for it not to hurt. But when I went last month, that was my second time ever getting one. But you know, it had been so long since my first one. That I got my first one like sometime last year or like, or the, or the very beginning of this year. So then I just got my second one especially my first one last month and that junk hurt so bad I was off the table because I it was just like so much hair down there and it was painful but um the lady told me she was like you got to keep it up if you come back next month I promise you ain't, ain't gonna hurt that bad or whatever and so I came back today and she was right, like it was easy breezy like last time it took an hour this time it only took 30 minutes because like it was easy breezy and two, I didn't have that much hair because you know once you wax it, it takes a long time for the hair to grow back. So I didn't have as much hair as before. This might be a TMI, but we all women, y'all know. So yeah, I think I can, I think I can keep this up with the waxes. You know, at first I just thought y'all was out there with some super strong coochies, and I just didn't have a Superman coochie like y'all do. But y'all was right. If you just keep it up, if you just keep it going, the pain eases away. Like it don't hurt that bad. So yeah. I'm gonna try to keep it up for once a month. I'm thinking about not even getting a pedicure anymore. Like, it'll be all right. I don't know what's the issue with people having bare toes. Like, well, not just people with women. Like, I don't understand why women just can't have bare toenails. Why does society tell us that there has to be polish on it? Like, why? Like, why is it just so weird or disgusting for us to just not to have nothing on our toenails? I just don't, I don't know. I don't get that. I don't care. I'm like, I ain't about to have nothing on these toenails. This is gonna be what it is. It's just gonna be some freshly. I mean, they're gonna be clipped and stuff, but it just ain't gonna be no toenail polish on it. It'll be alright. Yeah, I'm about to finish watching in the house, eat my sushi, and uh, just I just holler at y'all whenever I do. I think. I think. Bye.